Check it out, Bob. Olaf says, good luck. Your jungle has no brain for macro. And I say, me farm camps, me so good. Yeah, step up your knowledge, bud. Step up what it means to farm camp. You know what my name is? That's right, John. Last name full clear. Whoa, crazy flash. Whoa. And then Cinna heals the Varus with the Q. Well played. I need to be careful. I'm against Olaf Volleybear. Damn, and they didn't invade me level one. Listen, Olaf, I thought you had macro knowledge. Come kick Kha'Zix's ass. What are you doing? He leashed a Volleybear. Yes. You know what they say, man. It is always the guy who will like go out of his way to flame to then not just do the proper attack. You know what I mean? Auto W. And we want to auto Q. Kiting. Auto. And then we auto the big one. One, two, Q that. Schmack. Schmack. And then check it out. Schmack. They both die. Waiting. Auto W. Perfect Krugs. If you save the smite for the Krugs, I swear. At least it feels better to do it like that. Alright, so we're playing into Volleybear. Volleybear can have the first three objectives, that's fine. And then we're going to do the Kha'Zix Classic here. Kha'Zix needs to get his camps. Get super, super, super farmed and keep that going throughout all stages. So if the enemy makes a mistake, we can punish it. And then if they don't, oh well, we keep farming. For the runes, we have Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball, Relentless. And then Magical Footwear Futures. You really like weighing the Futures, uh, the uh, Dark Harvest versus First Strike. Whenever they have AoE champions... And then it's a lot harder to use for a strike as you can get randomly hit and then not have that proc. Miss out on a couple bits of damage. For the build, we're going to be going Profane Hydra. Profane Hydra giving us the clear speed, the damage, the ability haste, the lethality, literally everything. And then the, the standard here, we are full clearing, Bob, don't you know? First name John, last name full clear. At all stages of the game, we're not skipping these camps. And it's up to Volleybear to win the early game. And if he doesn't, oh boy. Oh boy, I mean, he can still be useful late game with his stun, but we'll see. I'm going to save my smite right here. Surprised Volleybear hasn't shown top or bot. There he is. Volleybear full HP. I'm going to go ahead and do both scuttles. Save my smite for the second one in case Volleybear wants to party. And these guys aren't low enough for me to really go bot side just yet. But if they overdo it, as they should with Volleybear, maybe we have to play. There's Volleybear, there's the hook, and then there's really nothing there. So we'll go to the top side scuttle. With no minion wave and that guy being full HP, it is what it is. You W this guy's wave so that it gets pushed just a little bit. Looks like he's trying to crash. Alrighty, Bob. Not too bad, not too bad for John. Only one question mark ping on top of him for a play that's like not his issue. So that's not too bad. Dude, I love playing Kha'Zix. I love how much my allies hate my guts. It is so... <laughs> I've said it multiple times, it is so beast. Why do I like that? I think I like annoying people at the end of the day, man. I think that's one of my personality traits. <clears throat> to the top side, reset to those respawning grump. Or the respawning Krugs, then we're going to clear down to the dragon. And probably have a pretty good, easy dragon. I would imagine that Volley Bear would stop for the Void Grubs. Now, since we got both Scuttles, we'll be hitting level 6 a lot faster. So long that there's no interruptions. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Nothing serious has to happen. Volley Bear starting Void Grubs. Don't worry about it. Just keep clearing. Go contest them. Nope, don't think I will. Don't think I will, partner. I'll just keep doing me. Focusing on myself. Perhaps I could scare him a little bit with the Scryer right here. He finished those pretty quickly. So we're both level 5 and then he'll have an XP lead for now. It's up to my bot lane to keep it stable though until I get there. This is one thing that's annoying about playing any full clear style is that you have a reliance on your lanes doing uh, things slowly and normally. So whenever they do fights like this, it's always going to be worse. Fights like that or if they make mistakes. It's like obviously. Obviously the Varus is making a mistake there, but you know what I mean. Any sort of negative variance goes against your potential to have a play after the fact. 
and then people view you as the enemy because you weren't there, you know? Lee Sin can be there to, one, correct the mistake of the ally, and then two, punish the enemy for having a winning lane state. Okay, I'm gonna start Dragon. Nice, Volibear flashed in too. So the enemy bot lane's gonna reset. It's gonna make it pretty easy for me to outnumber them on the Dragon here. Nice, Volibear's coming to kick my ass. This is so warded, but it's okay. Health potion? Now it might take me a little bit, but my bot lane should come. Luckily I have a lot of free HP here. The health potion and the berries. Fight. Nice. E. Nice. Reset. Look at that, Bob. We are just like one minion away from six. If they just buff jungle XP by, I swear, like one, I would be hitting level six way more often. To the top side, to our respawning camps, two long swords, not futuristing out the uh, Tiamat, not waiting for glowing mode, not going brutalizer just yet. It's all about getting all the AD early. The AD is going to increase the clear speed. And it's not so much about anything else at all now, is it? So we're back to the camps. We'll be hitting level 6 on this turn. And then with that level 6, we'll have the ulti evolve. The ulti evolve will give us way more opportunity for playmaking here. Q, auto, evolve the ulti. Auto, W. More charges on the ulti, so we get to stay invisible for longer. You have to think of that as more HP. If the enemy can't hit you, then you can stay alive for longer. Kha'Zix has to get right on top of people, so... If you're not invisible, you're going to be getting hit, and you're probably going to die. It also gives us more movement speed. That allows us to surprise targets, because one of Kha'Zix's strongest things is that he can... appear out of a bush right on top of the enemy ADC, and they have to deal with it, man. Volley Bear, I'm gonna hit level 7. Welcome to the level gap. Especially once we complete the Tiamat and the Profane Hydra, that's when we really start level gapping the enemy jungler. We can go like 2 level lead at most stages. In the early game, they'll be able to keep up somewhat because of catch-up XP. But then that gets worse and worse as the game keeps going. We can start getting side lane XP or just rinsing our camps faster than they can keep up with. We can do f two full clears for their one, for example. Alrighty, so we're gonna look for a lane gank here. With my ulti, I'll be able to appear from a bush. Oh my god, it's warded. Oh, into the river. It's so much less likely that this shit is not warded in the river. Guys, the wave. Guys, the wave. Ghost, ulti, moving. On the Kaisa. Auto, Q, W. Auto, ulti. Auto. Oh, why would you take the kill? Q, auto, ulti. Auto, moving. Auto, Q, E. Auto, W. Auto, die, man. Ugh. Okay. At least Sinna gets that kill, but like, damn, she took the kill on, on the Kaisa. Super annoying. Instant reset. We got Krugs to get to. Look at them. They're begging to be killed. Alrighty, now we swap to Sweeper. By the time we get the Tiamat and the Brutalizer, that's when I like to swap. If I got the kills, man, bang! I signed the deal. I'm on. I got the Profane Hydra. Not this time, though. It's not the end of the world. It's just like... Why, you know, what are you going to get an extra Longsword, Senna? Grow up. <clears throat> With the Tiamat, now we're going to be clearing a little bit faster, giving us that AoE on our auto attacks, and then the active that works as a uh, a uh, auto attack reset, and another instance of damage. Shabink. As our ulti is down, it's pretty simple. We don't don't look for fights. Senna immediately gets shut down. That's another problem with Senna getting the kills. You're not supposed to be worth that much gold, baby. What, what if I went like a, like a, you know, mid of the past? You're not supposed to have a job. You're supposed... <laughs> Senna, stay in that support role. Dependent upon the man. 
The big man, a Moomoo already. It's clear this will have Volley Bear's fucking red side. Skipping my Gromp. With the dragon coming up, I have time to take his, uh, whoa, Nelly! And she's insta dead again. Ghost Blade. Ulti onto no one. Well, back to my Gromp, and then I really don't have a play for a long time. It is truly up to the enemy to fuck up now. They've killed my support back to back. And now Volibear is resetting, spinning his gold. And then also looking for that dragon. Hmm. Alrighty, I think 9 out of 10 Kha'Zix players would stay on the map and try to contest that dragon. Me personally, I'm going to reset, get my Profane Hydra, call it a day. Profane Hydra to the top side. Now we don't have camps for a little bit, so we have some time to play with. Looking for a gank onto top or mid lane. And then back to my Krugs. The enemy doesn't have to give me it, that's for sure. That's what fucking stinks about this game state. Olaf has Ninja Tabby, that's pretty bad for me. But he wants that top turret, eh? Dink. Dink. Mink. Olaf, I love you. Nice. Give me that Gromp, baby. Olaf says, see, jungle always passed the wrong way. You want me to contest Nautilus Volibear Dragon or what? <laughs> you getting mad? I'm getting rich. You getting mad? I'm getting wolves. All yours. Bing. Shut down. Nice, they got the shutdown on Volibear. Yeah, guys, you can see Volibear died bot lane. This means I am very strong now. Diana says, can you do something? Give me a second, guys. It's coming. I fucking love it, man. They hate it so much. It super surprises me, too, Bob. This is Masters 200 LP. It's not like we're in fucking low, low, super low, Bob. You know, SpongeBob fucking Weenie Hunt Juniors. And nobody knows what Kha'Zix is supposed to do. Everyone thinks you're supposed to, like, fight and gank and shit. Like, nobody has a clue that this champion farms and powers up. And then if the enemy makes a mistake, I punish it. That's it. That is it. That's all it ever will be. <laughs> There's so many better champions to do, like, the uh, the random fighting part, too, in comparison. Like, is Victor making a mistake? No. Diana doesn't have ulti. I'm farming. It's so simple. Yet, it's so, in their minds, it's so skewed. But I get it, all they think is every champion fights, but like, dude. Now Victor's making a mistake, now we're talking. Phew. Alrighty, Victor, if you stay for this wave, you die. Let's see it. Odds of this being worded pretty high. Nice. Ghost, ulti, moving. Auto. <laughs> I even have to use my E, nothing. There goes Senna again. The Volibear probably isn't here. Auto, Q, W, all, oh, nice, auto. And then we're going to EQ Profane, my kill, baby. <laughs> I did something. <laughs> Bob, just a couple more camps and we're level 11 and my teammates couldn't be more pissed. Q Profane, remember, Profane does more the lower the target is. So with level 11, it's such a big spike because we get our second evolve. With all this farming too, we're getting closer and closer to our to our items here. Just more AD across the board. Always our our gold graph is always going up. It's never stopping, you know. Second item here is going to be Ghost Blade, looking to get that extra movement speed onto the Victor and the Kaisa, and it gives us quite a bit of lethality in AD. Our new Volley Bear is in the bot side. You know what that means, Bob? A free objective. Like I said, Volibear can have the first three objectives. That's going to be the Void Grubs and the Dragon. But then when it comes Rift Herald time and third Dragon, that's when we can start contesting. If we take away the first Dragon too, it's so beast. It's so beast because, like, they just stay behind. Nice. Level up those spikes into this guy's blue side. I can flank. Nice. I can flank mid. Ulti. Moving. Q. W. Profane. Ulti. E. Q. Nice. 
a little bit of dying right here. Ghost Blade, and then we'll get back to the top side, cleared down. I don't really mind the shutdown on Victor. It's fine. It is fine. That turret dealt 1,000 damage to me. I needed to only take two turret shots. That was, that was my problem. Where I took the turret shot right here, that was too much. Nice. Folly Bear's ulti. Such a long cooldown. No control ward. Alrighty, Bob Dragon's up in a minute. Volley Bear's level 9, I'm level 11. I'm going level 12 off my full clear. It's like summer morning. I'm going to the pool! Ghostblade, E! Let's run to the pool, guys! We can hang out there all day! My parents gave me $5 I can get a sandwich. Then you have the, the like loser kids at the pool. That's my teammates. Man, why are you even here? You're not even doing dives off the fucking... the thing. Check it out, guys. I got a sandwich. This is beast. E, profane, auto, Q, auto, moving, auto, moving, Q. Oh, Diana's dying. Diana, what the heck? Do something, dude. Bro. Bro, what are you doing? Are you trolling? Bro. I can imagine 70 question mark pings on top of her. Like, would that help you play? Bro. I bet I can slime the victor here. The odds of the tri-brush being warded are astronomical, though. So, we'll just move in right here and see what we can find. Definitely not. Definitely warded. Q. E. W. I'm s they're so dead. Auto. Q. Profane. Ulti. Wah! Man! Oh, I slimed her in. She's fucking stupid, but that was nothing good by me, man. Reset. Pickaxe to the dragon here. This one's weird though. Yeah, you guys don't take it before I get there. Wait for me. It was warded. That was pretty good acting by Nautilus. And then whenever Kaisa hits me, it's hard to tell if they have vision or not. Her plasma can give vision. Whoa. Q smite. W. Auto. Moving. Ow. Ow. Volley Bear, you got any camps for me, big man? Nice. A little snack on the way out. That was a pretty good fight for us. And listen, Bob, all of these fights, the Volley Bear needs to be fucking hard winning them. He's getting outscaled in every second. Every second of the game now. So whenever he loses them, he's really going to feel it. Longsword, longsword to the top side. So the third item here, we're going to Sherelda's. Not even close. They don't have a wave. Third item we're going to Sherelda's. This gives us AD, Lethality, Ability, Haste, and then Percentage Armor Pin. That Percentage Armor Pin helps us against the tankier targets, such as the Volley Bear, Nautilus, if the Victor was to buy Zonias, and the Olaf. With just the Ghost Blade and the Profane, you're going to be killing the squishy targets. Sherelda's lets you kill everyone. And then any third item past that, with a lot of AD or Lethality, is going to be good. But once you get two lethality items, then it's time for Sherelda's. Auto Q, are you out of your mind? Oh, Q! Ghost Blade. Let's get some camps. We already got the level 13. Volley Bear's level 10. Class, point and laugh at the Volley Bear. It's only level 10. Let's get some wards down, big man. Let's get some wards down, big man. Nice, I'm not on it. Bet I can kill the Olaf. Bet I can kill the shit out of the Olaf. I don't have to, though. What we can do is just reset to the top side. Because even if we kill the Olaf, it's not super useful. Meanwhile, we know Victor's going to be side laning on the top side. So let's reset. Brutalizer. And then... I can't get a control ward, damn. To the top side. We're not buying the tier 2 boots until we complete... Like, if if I can buy AD on the recall, I'm not going to complete tier 2 boots. It's just investing into ability haste, where I could be buying damage. That's a real problem. Mr. Victor. Ghostblade, moving. Mr. Victor. He doesn't have any wards here. Ulti. Q, auto, profane, W. I don't know why I did it like that. EQ. I needed to uh, QW, auto, profane. 
Why? Whatever. Learn from my mistakes. See how that guy died anyways, though? <laughs> See how he did the wrong combo and he still dies? Now, I'm waiting for Krugs to respawn. And I'm waiting for the enemy to make a mistake. I can't be reaching out. I can't be reaching in, in here or they can see me. So long that I'm in the fog of war, I'm in a good spot. They see the Diana pushing, maybe they'll move. But this bush is a volley bear problem. Whoa, ghost moving. W. Nice. E, profane, Q, ghost blade, onto volley bear. Auto attack. Q, W. <laughs> They're so dead. Baron, boys, Baron! Oh my god, Bob. We're waiting for them to make a mistake, a.k.a. You know, it's like the Garden of Eden all over again. Here's an apple, my Varus. Do you want to eat it? You can't, but do you want to? Ah, uh, bad choice, man. Dumbass. He's like, baited and outsmarted. Alrighty, into humanity you go. Into all of history you go. Good luck. Nice. We're so Dude, they're so fucked. Once you get the Baron, man... All Kha'Zix needs is one Baron, and the enemy might as well be out of the game. I'll clean up my topside camps here. We're still looking for level 16. Even though, even though we got the Super League, we're still farming, man. Kha'Zix keeps going and keeps going. I want that, uh, I want that level 16 with the third Evolve so I can get those wings. Profane reset to the wolves. Shirelle does two long swords, and off we go. I'm thinking Eclipse is our third item. My bad. My fourth item. That's how fed we are. Eclipse giving us a shit ton of AD and then a shield as well. A little bit of damage, a little bit of HP. So killing the camps right here doesn't give us a lot of XP, but when we kill them the next time, that's how we get the level 16. If we don't get it off the play. So it covers our bases, makes it a neutral positive for us. It does cost us some time, but with uh, everyone random dying, you know. Shout out to Diana. Kha'Zix, you're not doing anything. Nobody's pinging me in the late game, you know. As we're in the mid and late game, no one's pinging Kha'Zix no more. Why aren't you doing anything? Fuck off. Flanking. Now, I don't have Ghost for this, but this Kaisa is dead on my screen. Waiting. Ulti, Ghost Blade. Q, W, Profane, Auto. Oh my god, they're so dead. Auto Q, E, Auto Ulti, W, Q, moving, moving, and he moved the other way, smite, come back here, come back here, W, E, Q, profane, auto, die bastard, <laughs> I'll give it to him, he's one big thick son of a bitch, you know, he don't go down easy, level 16, we got those wings evolved, we now have a higher jump range, and the jump resets upon kills and assist. AKA, we can kill everyone on the enemy team, man. I'm gonna reach whoever. So the deal is, is that we get on top of the enemy with the ulti and the ghost blade. We get right on top of them, and then they're gonna flash away, they're gonna dash away, the is gonna ult and run and shit, you know? And then we follow them with the jump. No one's outranging that jump. Sweeper, moving. Uh, Kaisa could have went left, so we might as well wait. Might be able to find someone bot side. Nice. Ghost Blade. Ulti. And waiting. Q, W. Auto. Because the main mistake most people make on Kha'Zix is that they jump into the fight. Your jump is not to get in. It's to go forward or backwards during the fight. 8, 1, and 7, 700 gold shutdown, 219 CS, almost the most on the game. I gotta make that happen. I gotta get more CS than Diana. Who cares if we win or lose? Look at this clear speed bod. Diana won't be able to compete. Plus my numbers are kind of boosted by jungle camps. Damn it. No Raptor. It doesn't even matter if I get farm right now. <laughs> what should I be doing instead? Figure it out, Bob. Ask me later, I gotta farm camps. Look at that, 1200, holy shit. Okay. 
Damn it, I'm close. Diana, bitch, don't get a CS, please. Now I could go there, I can go by. You know where the CS is, right? Alright, so Bob, we got the Eclipse. We got 70 AD, 15 ability haste, a little bit of percentage HP damage, and a shield. This gives us massive, massive damage. You'd be surprised how much this shit deals. The only other last item I can really think of would be Serpent's Fang. But this lets me take some damage, which in the late game is super underrated. Waiting. Alrighty, and Ghost Blade ulti. Nice. Ulti. Auto. Q. W. Profane. Auto. Ulti. E. Q. E. Into the mid lane. My team's pushing bot. I can't really help them without ulti, so I might as well be of use elsewhere. Or at least be farming. Oh. Got Baron coming up in a minute, so nothing serious has to happen here. This guy is getting in there, huh? huh. They're so dead. E, Profane, Q, W. <laughs> e, Q. GG. GG. Noob Olaf. Who's with me? <laughs> Remember the Olaf said, this guy sucks. Final score, 8, 1, and 10. Eclipse dealing 200, blocking 500. Didn't really get to showcase that, but... That is that. Mr. Kha'Zix, well played. Let's honor the Fiora. I'm basically perpetually uh, weak-siding my top laners whenever I'm blocking Kha'Zix. Finals, or er, that will put us at 223 LP. Final damage dealt, boom, 1,800. Second most damage dealt in the game. Ay ay ay, how could I have dealt more? I needed the enemy to team fight more. They kept inting into Varus and not me. What a fucking shame. Ay Dios. Alrighty, GG. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.